and we'll get to see the Eagles superstar wide receiver who's closing in on a thousand yards receiving on the year. It's the Eagles and the Cowboys next on Madden NFL 25. As the sun starts to set, we're going to see how much light is left by the end of this early evening game here on the NFL on EA Sports. Joined by a former NFL quarterback up in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward. I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, uh, you can brag if you'd like to because I know you had quite the big arm in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime, drop a deep throw right over them for big yardage. for most of our teams as we get underway here in week 12. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. So here come the Cowboys for their opening drive. Bringing them out is a Mississippi State fourth round pick in 2016 who's found considerable success in this league, Dak Prescott. Last week, Kate, you won't call his effort wasted never. But you wish a game like that would have come in a win instead of showing up in a contest they ended up dropping two touchdowns, no picks. That's the type of game that wins are typically built off of. Into traffic, complete! And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. It's a gain of 21 yards to pick up that first down. Good offenses. Okay, good play callers know how to utilize their personnel. They know where they wanted him. They wanted him in a route in space where he could make that initial play comfortably but then go to work after. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's officially in enemy territory now. They're going to give him the opposing 49. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Here's a give up the middle. Breaks through, and he might break away. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. A pick up there of 33 yards. And that's good for a Cowboys first down. I'll tell you what, Kay. One of the things I'm most proud of coming out of broadcast are my O-line buddies that will hit me up during the game and say thank you. Thank you for finally showing some love and giving some light to what those big boys are doing up front. I got to play with some of the best to do. I got to see it up close and personal. Because of it, I'll never forget it. And they just showed up on that run. Got Lamb, and it's complete. This down the seven yard line. It's a double digit game, 10 yards, and now they've got first and goal. They'll try and punch it in. And he is into the end zone for a Dallas touchdown. The Cowboys take a 6 0 lead on their opening drive. So, a picture perfect way to begin this ball game, Bronk. Their opening drive ends in six. Yeah, no question about it. That's how you do it. You work all week to script out the opening drive, and it's huge when it pays off like that. Brandon Aubrey now on for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. Aubrey now to kick this one away. His return starts at the five. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. So here are the Eagles now for their first drive. They'll be led out by their rookie starter out of Michigan State University. Two numbers that a lot of people were focused on from his performance last week. That would be three and zero, as in touchdowns and interceptions. That's a quarterback who was efficient, aggressive in the right spots, but he took great care of the football. And of course, well, he cares less about those two numbers. He's more about the alphabet, like that letter W, picking up the win in that ball game. 
And he's officially in enemy territory now. They're going to give him the opposing 49. That's going to pick up the first down after a gain of 26. You know what I like about that, Kate? I like that they're not coming out slow. They're willing to go with some looks here that will yield big yardage down the field instead of just settling for dinking and dunking the ball. One play in, and this drive is already in enemy territory. On first down, they'll run. And he'll get this down to the 33-yard line. That play good for 17 and a first down. You know, the elite running backs in this league, they don't just see what's right in front of them. You set up big runs like this because they see what's behind them. That's called extraordinary vision and extra yards. Rifles it, and it's caught. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Here's second and five. Short pass caught by his tight end. Who head out of bounds after a small game. Short yardage situation here. It's third and two. He'll throw it. Complete beyond the marker. They get 13 on the pickup. And that's good for an Eagles first down. You know, they call that the money down for a reason. Because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. To the line we go. They're set first and ten. Working inside the red zone. The throw is caught. And he'll go down shy of the end zone. They mark him at the four. Now after making that catch, we see he's shaken up. Trainers heading out to take a look. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. They are throwing it again. That one's incomplete in the end zone. Well covered on that play. Really not a large window for him to sneak that throw in. Throwing now, third and two. And he just gets rid of this one, but unfortunately, that means fourth down coming up. You know, it's fascinating how those routes you run so many times in practice become a whole lot more difficult in the actual game. That was an important third and short to convert. Very surprised to see that play fail. Trying to throw for it on this fourth down. He can't get away. They get the sack and force a turnover on down. So the defense rises to the challenge and gives the ball back to their offense. I think this defense was resigned to giving up three points on the opening series. Instead, well, they got the chance to deny them anything, and boy, did they ever attack it. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Simple dive up the middle. And a couple of teammates combining there for the stop after just one yard. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal gain, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. Well, he needed another second to deliver the throw he wanted to. you got to give a lot of credit that time, Kate, to the pass rush for getting in and forcing him to dish it before he was ready. Here he is on third and long. That's caught for the first. And he'll be going in the 38 yard line before going down. It's a 24 yard gash, and it gives them the first down. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. New set of downs for him at the 38. They go play action on first. He throws a bullet to the center of the field. His shot down field will wind up incomplete. There's the importance of staying in phase as a defender. He was all over him in coverage. 
And that really did help force the incompletion. Second and ten now. Four snap to his right. Oh, look at this. Here he goes. And he rips off good yardage, but it will not move the chains. You know, Kate, they always say that QB clock. You know what it's more like? It's more like an alarm, especially in a situation like that. And it's a good thing he woke up to it, able to make something out of nothing and at least keep it moving forward. As a defense, you got to see the pass. You got to time up your hit, and you got to jar that ball loose. Not a lot of offensive players are hanging on to that one through a well placed hit. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. This punt out of bounds on the fly. We're waiting for the mark. Looks like they're going to say it's short of the 30. The Eagles and their quarterback ready to take over once again. And as we play through November, you can see that this hot start has continued. He's the NFL's leader in touchdown passes. They'll run here on first down. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. So much to like about that run, Kate, particularly what he's able to get out of it. The defense, I think, feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger run in crossing that first down marker. And his short game gets them a new set of downs. That's certainly a spot where you could be more aggressive, Kate, if you want to take your shots. But some coaches, even the bolder ones, will take the safe play first when they get it from time to time. No third down required now. They just get the playoff. Got a man. Coverage lost him. Complete. And they take him down right along the 30. One quarter done. Three to go in this battle of elite teams. Neither side separating much so far. Back to AT&T Stadium in just a moment. Ready now for our second quarter. The Eagles have the football. They're looking at yet another first and 10 on this drive. And he's going to get this to the 29 before he stopped. Manages just a yard on first down. Now it's going to be second and nine. Pass play now. Short pass caught by his tight end. And they bring him down. Looks like he got it to the 27. Let's see what they draw up on a third and seven. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. That one's complete, right side. And he's going to be taken down near the eight-yard line. They'll have first and goal to go now after they gain 18 on the previous play. I'm not sure how this defense let that guy slip through him like that. On third down, nonetheless, he took that snap as an opportunity. Man, did he make an impact play. First down from the red zone. Catch made. And he's brought down real close to that goal line at the one. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. It opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And the third and short in your back pocket. You can get even more aggressive and take that touchdown the Eagles can tie it up in the second after cutting into the lead well we've certainly gotten used to calling his touchdowns all season haven't we there have been a lot of them Brock and that last one makes it official pop that cork baby the receiving record for touchdowns in a season and the level of opposition he's overcome especially as he neared this record the whole world watching every team doing all they can committing extra resources to stop them well, they can't do it. And all he did was score, 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 score. That one splits the uprights. And we're all knotted up. The kick team out there for the Eagles. And this one is sent away. Kickoff taken at the 13. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Cowboys and C.D. Lamb headed back out on offense. And you can see he's in chase mode, trying his best to catch the league leader in receiving. Right now, sitting in second place. And the drive will start out with a first and 10. 
Now he'll throw off the play fake. Ooh, he got hit as he was throwing, and unsurprisingly, it falls incomplete. Second down coming up. Trying to throw here out of the gun. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And he crosses the sideline a yard or two beyond, it looks like, the 30. Third and six for them to figure out now. They're going play action. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he takes it just inside the 40, down to the 39. Following that completion, medical staff headed out for an injured player. We'll see what the nature of his injury is. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Here's Dak. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. See the pass, time up your hit, and jar that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on through a well-placed hit like that one. Throwing from the gun here. Throw complete to land. And they bring him down around the 34. It's not just imperative that a quarterback knows man or zone. Same thing for a receiver, especially on a drag route. When he sees zone coverage like that, just settle down, find the soft spot, give your quarterback a chance. And this is down to the 28 before the defense halts it. They get six and a first down as well. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. Bails out of the pocket, trying to get away from the pressure, but he can't, and they drop him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down, coming up. Kate, I've seen a, a one-step drop. I've seen a three, a five, a seven. Some of the boots and play actions get more depth, but a 20-step drop? <laughs> That's not going to cut it, except for this defense. It just adds a whole bunch of negative yards to that play. They really need some chunk yardage here on second down. Out of the shotgun. They'll give it to him inside. And this is down to the 28 before the defense halts it. Well, that doesn't net a first down. You get yards like that in the run game, you will take it in the NFL. They'll throw on third and long. And that's a win for the pass rush. Hit as he threw it, leads to the incompletion. Fourth down coming up. Well, that's one you chalk up to the pressure, earning that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target, hit him, altered that last second attempt to get rid of it. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that's going to break our tie and give him a three-point advantage. A dependable kicker, man. That is a coach's best friend. Saves him so much stress to have a guy he can really trust to go out and hit it from that distance consistently. Because from that far out, no kick is a guarantee. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. The offense returning to the field now as we get a look at their wideouts. He's got kind of a touchdown in this game as we see now where that helps land him among the NFL's leaders in that category. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. They'll come out throwing. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. So after that completion, we've got a player in some visible discomfort. And here come the trainers to get him some help. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. From the 34. Tight end has it across the middle. And he'll get this down at the 33-yard line. It's a pickup of 33 yards. And that's a Philadelphia first down. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position by hitting on that shot. You've totally flipped the field and the tone of this drive. Which is the two-minute warning from AT&T. The Eagles working here. Ball at the 33 for first down. 
Now they'll throw out of the gun. Has a man, it's Brown. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. A timeout now as medical staff runs out to deal with an injured player, and that's A.J. Brown, the man in question. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 27. He loses the football. But it looked like an eagle flew in and was first to the football. They're retaining possession. Give him 13 on that play. And that's good for an Eagles first down. Working inside the red zone. He keeps those feet in and makes the catch. I know I could sound like a broken record when I talk about timing and getting the ball out on time and on rhythm. But these outcuts, it is so imperative. And the best of them make it look oh so easy. Second and manageable. He's throwing. Pass is hauled in by the running back. And he scores. It's a Philadelphia touchdown. The Eagles get some late points and the lead. So the offense showing a, a slightly different dimension there, Brock. Getting the running back involved with his hands for the touchdown. Yeah, such an advantage. I think when you think about it, Kate, it really is about the 80s where we start to see these running backs not just tote the ball as runners, but be real weapons when they get the ball in the passing game. That's well done. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. The kick team out there for the Eagles. And this one is sent away. Kickoff taken at the 13. And it's a nice return here. They'll tackle him shy of the 35. Ball at the 33 for first down. Deck to the air here. Tried to connect, but it winds up incomplete. Oh, look at those savvy linebackers. They're just right in the middle of everything, aren't they, Caked? And it seems like at times they are the quickest reactions as well. He needed a quick one right there to get a finger on the throw and change its direction. And down he goes. The Eagles got him. Now a pause as they attend to an injured player, and they wait with bated breath because it is Dak Prescott who's getting help here. Let's see what they went with on third down. They'll try and pick this up on the ground. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. Philadelphia going to spend its second time out. The Cowboys sending out their punting unit. And he'll try to have his second punt top his first one. Escapes a defender. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. Officially a 55-yard launch. And the offense ready to head back out onto the field. Ball at the 33 for first down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Rifles it, and it's on the money on the slant. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stops. Second and three now. Throw in with a blitz on the way. Quick hitter complete. And they make the stop. We're going to say it about the 37-yard line. They get 22 on that one. And that's a Philadelphia first down. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. Markers reset, ball at the 37. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. He's got it, room to run. And they get this down to the 28. Now after making that catch, we see he's shaken up. Trainer's heading out to take a look. Let's see what they want to do here, partner. It's second and inches. From the 28. Short pass caught by his tight end. And they get this all the way down to the 16-yard line. Dose of the hurry-up offense here. That pass complete 
to Goddard. And he's able to get this down to the 13. So as we reach halftime, we see the visiting Eagles taking a lead into the break. Now we'll send you east to our studios in Orlando. That's where Jonathan Coachman is waiting to bring you the EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, what you got for us? All right, Kate, thanks very much. More from you and Brock in a moment. But first, time for a look around the NFL to see what's going on here and what's already been an eventful afternoon of football. We'll begin just outside Washington at Commander's Field in Landover. And as you see, they were winners back on Thursday night. Jaden Daniels sharp in the victory as his guys get back within a game of 500. From there, let's get over to the Rockies to check out the Broncos at home in Denver. And you can see there is the visiting Colts who have the lead in that one. Michael Pittman, a touchdown reception. Finally, let's get to the desert to check on the Cardinals at home in Glendale. And that one, all tied. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break as we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. Return coming from the six. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The Eagles ready for their next series. Let out on offense by their quarterback. And this is some quality film review right here. Look at this. Couple of touchdowns. Good amount of yards, too. He's been moving them down the field like only he can. Putting together quite the game for himself in the process. They're out and set. First and ten. Option give here. And he'll take this up to around the 30-yard line. Only gets a yard there to make it second and nine. Shotgun snap. They're going to throw. Finds a man on the right side. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Out of the gun, they'll give it to him inside. And he stopped after running it up across the 45 to the 46. Good run, gets him seven. That brings up second and three. From the 46. We had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. Ball and defender arrived at the exact same time there. And now they'll face a third and three. Throwing now from the gun. Complete beyond the marker. And they're gonna haul him down just shy of the 40. A timeout now as medical staff runs out to deal with an injured player, and that's A.J. Brown, the man in question. First and 10 from the 41. Throwing from the gun. And oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. And the Cowboys are going to have it. And he's going to hang on to that football. That's his first career interception. They worked hard to have time lead Gronk, but now that defense working hard to take it away. They're not wasting any time, are they? You know, they love to say about baseball, Kate, baseball's a game of adjustments. So is the NFL, and especially in the second half. You have all that data from the first half. You want to take it all in, and defensively, you want to adjust exactly what they did to take the ball away there to begin the second. The Cowboys have it in great field position as they come up to the line, first and ten. Trying an inside give to Warren. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. Ball at nine yards. Looks like a first for a moment. It's second and one. It's a game of nine. Brings up second and a yard. Warren once more. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. Kate, it's amazing how fast these guys are on the field and how fast your fortunes can turn. Second and short run, you're feeling good about yourself. 
But with a negative play, well, now comes a critical third down. They're going play action. Dumps it off to his fullback behind the line. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. <laughs> I'll tell you, that is a humbling moment to see a completed third down pass actually go backwards instead of towards the sticks. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. And he's out of bounds. Never really got a chance at reaching the marker there, so they're going to turn this over on downs. And after the punch, the offense comes out onto the field. And the Eagles will be backed up a good bit to begin the drive. Looking to throw here and shake off that previous INT. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. Still on the move, coming to the line for first and ten. He'll look to throw. Short pass caught by his tight end. How about 29 yards on that play, partner, as they get the chains reset. Man, yeah, I love that effort, adding as much as possible to that catch while earning the first down. That's called yards after catch, and it's what coaches want from all their pass catchers on the roster. New set of downs for him from the 46. Throwing now on first down. Got a man over the middle, complete. And he works this to the 38 before going down. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. From the 38. He finds his running back, nice work, complete. And he's gonna step out with no gain. Third and just two to go. Stand him up and sit him down at the line. Now, after battling on that run, we see one of their linemen appears to be injured and in need of some attention. Offense staying out there. It's fourth and one. They'll run for this. And he's brought down for a ball. And that run won't come close. We've got a turnover on down. Hey, I am all for aggression. You get four downs, go for it. But I do have to wonder here, Kate, after being denied once again, is there going to be a trust level on that sidelines to go for it the next time they get this shot? The Cowboys have it in great field position as they come up to the line, first and ten. Here's a handoff up the gut. And he has enough room to gain about four. He'll expect more from himself on those type of plays, but there is nobody that's going to complain about that one. If you can do math, four plus four plus four equals a first down. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. All plays on the table here for third and three. Trying to throw here out of the gun. He has the first over the middle. And he pushes this down to the 42 before going down. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. You know, it sure seems like he knew exactly where he was going with that before the snap. That's a pre-snap decision that led to a post-snap first down. Throwing from the gun here. Fires over the middle, cut. And he's taken down at the 30. It's a gain of 12 there. And it'll be first down, Dallas. Throwing off the play fake here. And down he goes. The Eagles got him. And the 
big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Kate, speaking from experience here, what happens now with the third sack allowed, especially on an early down like that? Is that head coach and coordinator going to have a conversation? Okay, we got to fix this. Do we slide? Do we chip? Do we keep more people in? Because the one thing you can't do is keep getting your quarterback hit. Offense to the line for second down. Trying again, following the set. It's caught, Ferguson. And he's tackled with markers down. This one should be on the defense. So the completion doesn't end on the tackle. Add another 15 for the face mask, and it's a pretty good play Automatic offensively. Oh, an exceptionally painful penalty as it sets up first and ten now inside the red zone. Ferguson's got it complete. And he's short of the first after a mild game. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Now deck to throw. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Dak to the air here. And even on third down, he sees no choice other than to get rid of it. Not the play they wanted. It's going to be fourth down. You know, it's a point of emphasis in practice each and every week, no matter where we go. How are we going to attack the coverage on third down? If we chose the wrong play off that call sheet, that time. Turnover on down. So the defense rises to the challenge and gives the ball back to their offense. Well, this one never had a chance. Between the pressure right there in his face and the coverage downfield, quarterback still should have at least thrown it up there and given somebody an opportunity to make a play. Philadelphia getting ready to go on offense. They came into this game on a five-game win streak and currently in control of what could be a six-straight victory. Throwing with a blitz on the way. Quick hitter complete. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. Now hang on. Looks like somebody came out after that play. A little shaken up. Not sure we saw exactly what happened, but he'll get some assistance now. Second and six coming up here. From the 29. Short pass caught by his tight end. And they're going to bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. Here they come. This is third and five. Here's a throw. He rifles it, and it's caught. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off the snap. They'll head up first and ten from the 42. Back, it's the handoff. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. It's a four yard pickup, and that's going to bring up second and six. Shotgun snap, they're going to throw. That's complete to Wilson. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. Here's the long back on the handoff. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. We'll get a stoppage now. Looks like we have someone banged up after that run in need of some attention. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Back to the well again. 
And he's going to be brought down at the 35-yard line. It's a gain of four there. And that's good for an Eagles first down. They're set up at the 35 now. Back-to-back -back carries here. And he's taken down on a short wall that gets inside the 35. Only two yards, and it brings up second and eight. They give it to him again. And tough sledding for him. Only room to get it to the 30. Give him about three yards, and now they're going to have 35 to figure out. He's back to throw. This one finds Goddard. And he's brought down at the 17-yard line. Big gain, 14 on the play. And that's a Philadelphia first down. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted, and he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. They are now set for first and ten. From the red zone now. Catch made. And they'll get this down nearly to the end zone. Instead, stopped at the two. That one goes for 15, and now they're going to have first and goal. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. Here's a give on first and goal. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. The Cowboys signaling for their first time out. And they still have two available for them as we approach the end of this game. It's second and goal. Running for it again. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Now Dallas is going to call its second timeout. And they'll have just one left to burn now. So now, here's third and goal. Here he is to throw. And he scores. It's a Philadelphia touchdown. The Eagles now lead by 10. Well, Brock, you know this better than most. Sometimes these dudes can be a quarterback's best friend, finding the tight end in the end zone for six. And it really has been that way for decades when you think about it, Kate, from... Well, we knew this was coming. All touchdowns are reviewed, especially late in a close Previous game like this. Well, he sure made his best effort, but did he manage to keep this one from hitting the ground? And this is one of the most challenging calls for the replay booth. A number of years ago, Kate, it was fun. I got to go sit at the replay convention. Mm. Honest to God, they have them. They have officials conventions, replay conventions, and these complete incompletes can be some of the most difficult to judge. So the celebration can resume on that sideline. The touchdown stands. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. The kick team out there for the Eagles. And this one is sent away. Return coming from the 14. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. ready to begin this drive first and ten to throw that's going to be caught by Cooks and that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot looking to throw it and he just hucks this one away wasn't going to risk a throw or force something it brings up second down Throwing now. 
This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. Here he is to throw. He'll dump this one off to his running back, complete. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. The pass caught by his tight end. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Cowboys have to get moving here. Clock's still running. Got a man open, complete. And he drives it close to the red zone before going out. Only one timeout remaining. They've got to work quickly here. It's first and ten. Now to throw. Well, the pressure nearly got to him, but still a good play defensively as that one falls incomplete. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Throwing it again here. Put the body on the line for his team. Final timeout taken by the Cowboys. First down from the red zone. The Eagles swarm in and take him down. Keeping that pace going as the clock continues to run. And the cover just too good there. Didn't find a throw that he was confident in, so just throws it away. Third down coming up. Here's Dak. Trying to push it deep downfield. And no one had a shot at that. It's at the back of the end zone, incomplete. QBs, well, they're a lot like the great shooters in the NBA. Hey, listen, sometimes you're going to miss. You just got to shake it off and keep shooting away. One final shot here. A bit of desperation on this deep shot. And that pass falls incomplete. Well, they kept trying. They kept taking shots to the very end. But now we have reached that end. This one's over. So the Eagles will fly out of here with a road win. And with this being their fifth consecutive victory, Brock, it's easy to argue they've been the best team in football over the last month. So for Brock Eward, everyone here on our great crew, I'm Kate Scott, and this has been the NFL on EA Sports. The Eagles are winners, as we say so long from Dallas.